Hey guys, thanks so much for stopping by my channel. I do appreciate you guys' support. While you're here, please make sure to like this video, hit that notification bell, and definitely subscribe. The views that I express are my own personal opinions and reactions for commentary, and everything is alleged. So guys, let's get into this video. Have you guys heard Mel on Carlos King podcast that he dropped today? If you haven't, don't worry. I am breaking it down. It was so good. So I'll be dropping a few videos about it today. But I wanted to start with this one. Carlos spoke about a moment that Mel broke down and cried and basically ran into his arms. And he mentioned this because he said so many people think that Mel is just always unbothered or that she's cold hearted. So let's take a look first at what broke Mel down. You didn't have to go out and do that stuff. I didn't have to, no. but I'm saying you, you didn't have me, to go and tell, tell the entire city what your oh, husband did. Oh, you think did? I told the entire city? You, did, you, you okay. made it worse by going okay. to tell everybody you instead of keeping it everybody. in our house. I didn't tell if your everybody. husband do anything wrong, I don't care if I slept with a thousand people. You don't go out and tell people. We keep that in our household. You should have kept your penis in our household. So I know you guys remember that scene. I definitely do, as well as Mel's word that Martel should have kept his penis in their household. And looking at that little clip just now, just gives you the true definition of a narcissist. You know, he put blame on what he did on her because she wouldn't keep that information behind closed doors. And that is enough to make somebody break down and cry. So anyway, Carlos on his show stated that after that scene, because that's when they were in Miami for Kimmy and Maurice's wedding. And he said after that scene, Melody left the boat and rushed into his arms and broke down crying. And he said he also cried. And I'm so glad that Carlos spoke on this because I just did a video couple days ago about the same thing when Mel was just having a moment of transparency and she spoke about how the incidents that she went through a couple weeks ago with Martel got her a little emotional you know and Carlos is right people feel that Mel is unbothered they feel like she's so cold-hearted and she definitely has feelings so take a listen to what was said on Carlos's show, and I will definitely be back with more commentary. You connect with people through the television screen because you're so authentic and you're so honest. And one thing I want to share with people is this show is not fake. And mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. when you see Melody on the screen and she's strong, what you guys don't know that I'm going to share, and Mel has no idea I'm about to talk about this. Oh, Lord. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Lord. <laughs> See, now we got to drop some exclusives, honey, on the okay, podcast, child. Okay, I love it. <laughs> when Melody told Martel to keep his penis in the household season one, that epic scene, that moment where people were like, this chick, Melody, is, is the one to watch. What you guys don't know is I was there on set. And Melody, Melody left the dock because we were on a boat because Kimmy and Marie just got married. Mm -hmm. And they went to the top of the deck. She comes down, she rushes to me, and she breaks down in my arms. Mm -hmm. And I'm bringing this up to say, I can tell you guys that this woman's strength is so admired because it takes a strong woman to give all of that in front of the world and to have these conversations and I, I wanted to share that because I think a lot of people think, oh, Mel thinks she's this, she's that. Y'all have no idea. There's tons of conversations Melody and I have had in person over the phone. She's cried, I cried. She's hugged, I hugged. And you're, you're, you're such this powerhouse that I think a lot of people think 
you're like, oh, whatever. She's heartless. She's a tough cookie. Mm. But I really want people to know that what you have gone through on this show obviously is a huge part of the success of Huntsville. You're going to make me cry right now. (laughs) Oh, oh, don't cry, Mel. No. Well, no, because you're bringing back, you know, I just, I don't even know if you remember this too, but um, you came to Huntsville to one of my mimosas with Melody events. Remember that? I know what you're about to say. Yeah. And that was another moment when I literally broke down and I I was charged because it was my event. And um, part of, again, purpose work, you know, to go out and encourage all these women who travel from all over the country to come to my event, you know? I don't know if you remember, but I made a decision that Martel wasn't invited. He could not be present. I had just found out maybe the day or a couple of days before this Joker was still cheating when I thought we were good yet again, (laughs) when I thought we were good and I was heartbroken. And I was like, how do I go and encourage these women who are here? And I'm literally battling my own emotional breakdown right now. You know what I'm saying? And even in that moment, you were there. I remember you hugging me. I remember crying on your shoulder then too. And my whole team being there, them surrounding me. And, and we still went out there and we killed that day on Mimosas with Melody though. <laughs> we sure did. We sure did. No, you sure did. Because you had to get in front of a crowd of women. And I'm not exaggerating when I say this. A woman said to you in front of a large audience, she said, Melody, you give us hope. And you're like the Harriet Tubman for women. You are I the Maya that. Angelou of women. And I was yeah. like, and again, this is still season one. People saw you in the first eight episodes deal with that. And as we were shooting this new season, the fact that you were able to impact these women, and that's when I knew like this woman is going to go places. So wow, did you guys hear that? How touching and how transparent yet again was Mel. I love this part of her and I love that Carlos mentioned this because you get people like Destiny who just wants pity, but pity for what? We don't know a damn thing that she's been through, but she wants pity and for people to hold her up like she feels that people are holding Mel up. I just don't understand that. And we're not going to do that just because she's a woman. No, you can't try to tear another woman down out of pure jealousy, in my opinion, and think people in their right mind will support that. Which brings me to Martel. Now, here it is, what, three years, three seasons later, and he still hasn't gotten it? He still hasn't let go of trying to make Mel look bad. And on top of him being a narcissist, I think something is mentally wrong with Martel. I'm sorry, because he should have caught on by now and should be able to take responsibility by now. Just because he couldn't stop doing what he was doing is the reason for the downfall of his marriage so yeah i think something is mentally wrong the elevator just does not seem to go all the way to the top if you guys know what i mean but yeah thank goodness mel has taken the necessary time to just process everything and heal she also touched on a slight depression um you know while she was going through divorce and all of that so i'm glad that she's been able to bounce back She stated several times she's still in therapy, has her kids in therapy, and that's why we see in front of us this strong woman. It doesn't happen overnight. So yeah, I really, really like that. Uh, Carlos mentioned that. You guys let me know what you thought of this. Um, Did you think that that was a touching moment like I did? So you guys let me know what you thought of that clip of listening to Mel and Carlos. Uh, Make sure you drop down in the comments and just give me your thoughts on it. I thought that I was going to be able to recap the first half of season four, and it is just not going to happen. I may try to put together something for maybe early tomorrow before the show drops. 
of just clips from the reunion and my thoughts on that. But it is press week for the cast of Love and Marriage Huntsville. And there are interviews and podcasts popping up everywhere. So I do want to touch on more of what they're talking about that's going on right now versus what happened during the first half of the season. But like I mentioned, drop down in the comments. Let's chit chat about what you just heard. And also please make sure to like the video, hit that notification bell and subscribe. I shall chat with you guys soon. Bye.